She was just two years old when she became the youngest U.S. member of Mensa, the world's largest and oldest IQ society. Point of reference, the average American IQ is 98. Hers is 146. Please welcome Cash Quest and her mom, Sue. Hi, y'all. Hi. By Hi, Cash. Way, let me just say something. Cash Quest is the coolest the name, name ever. Ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Do you want to say thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. As a mom, I think, you know, you, everybody's like, Gelman, when he had kids, he was like, my daughters are geniuses. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know that you actually had your hands on one? Aren't you in child development? Yeah. So, um, the funny thing is, I mean, just like any parent, like you mentioned, I think we all have that parental bias of yeah. our child is gifted. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we started working with her really young. And when she was able to start picking up things like when we were reading her books and just making connections into real life connection, like Goodnight Moon, we were reading her that. And, you know, we explained to her what a crescent moon was. And then the next day she's out in the car pointing up to the sky like, oh, look, mommy and daddy, there's a crescent moon. So, Unbelievable. Um, right, right. She was picking up things really fast. And, you know, we started noticing things early on. And um, by 18 months, she had mastered her alphabets, phonics, letters, um, sounds, shapes, colors. Okay. She was starting puzzles. And um, I mean, she was working on this before. And at her 18 month checkup is when we actually, you know, talked to the pediatrician. And she was like, keep documenting and let's see where this kind of goes. And was the one that urged us to possibly get her so tested. So, what has she taught you? Uh, um, <laughs> I think a lot of things. Um, patience, for one. Yes, right, um, right. Patience for anyone. Um, and the funny thing is she's our only child. And so this is all we kind of know. Um, mm -hmm. Right, right. And we, we're going with that. And I think overall between all three of us, including her father, um, we've learned how to communicate with her and, um, and how to appropriately communicate with her. So the typical, because I said so, or because I'm mom, or That's just not a good answer yeah, for it, somebody with a 146 for her Because IQ. she needs more logical reasoning, and she's able to then, if a situation applies to her, reverse use that towards us. And so um, she's drinking she, all she this holds in you right accountable now. very much. She is. <laughs> she's like, they're on to me. They yeah. know I'm holding them accountable now. And she celebrated her third birthday. She did Mission. recently, yes. Hey, happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. By the way, Thank I you. understand you had a very special cake. Can you tell them what cake you had? What kind of cake was it? Watermelon. Yeah, watermelon, watermelon cake. Oh, that sounds Yum. good. Oh my <laughs> gosh, good. what a doll. Who brought the watermelon cake? The birthday fairy. The birthday fairy did. Oh yeah. my gosh. birthday fairy. <laughs> you All know right. what? If you, you know, if you get your IQ tested and the it turns out that it's The birthday fairy will bring me yes, a cake? Correct. I'm a little bit nervous about what we're going to do when we come back. I know you it's know? very. No, I know what we're going to do. It's okay. going to be another embarrassing, be embarrassing segment for yes. us. Just please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>